I got early access to update 42 and it has some crazy additions. The first is Geraldo's new skin, the Gentle Monkey Gadgeteer. This not only changes his appearance, but also that of his entire shop. The Paragon Totem looks like wind up gears, the Genies have spectacles and top hats, the Fire Spirit kind of looks like the Pringles Man but with glasses, the Shooty Turret looks like a Castle Ballista, Quincy's action figure looks like a first place trophy, all of the potions come in old fashioned bottles and beakers, the worn hero's cape looks vintage, the bunnies are fun wind up toys even when merged, and my favorite are the creepy totems as they have those old doctor masks. Obviously, we used him to beat the new advanced map Castle Revenge. This has two tracks and somewhat limited vision, but if you get monkeys up top, it isn't too bad. The coolest part of this whole thing though is that it's a castle on wheels driving over a balloon graveyard. As you go, you'll constantly see crash blimps all over the place. Two things to note are that the balloons move faster up the gears in the front, and every so often a red light near the back lights up. If you push it, you get the option to release some pressure. This costs money to activate, but when you do, steam comes pouring out of the castle, blowing back any balloons that are close to the exit. So it's a great last line of defense. There are also two awesome quests. The first is a slimy expedition where Dr. Monkey tells you and Scoop the story of how we first discovered Blunarius. It's really fun as you have to battle through three maps with slime raining all over the place, causing chaos the entire time. And the second quest is called Phase 1, where you try to pop as many phases as possible before they get to the exit. It reminded me of the birthday party quest where you have a goal to reach, but if you want, you can pop way more. By the end of my first try, I had five paragons and popped 150 phases, but I'm sure that you guys can blow that out of the water.